Welcome, everyone. It's the latest Red Leaf Retrocast Anime Edition coming at you. Episode 126 is here. Hickey, it was your pick today. What is this? Uh, <laughs> what's this anime called? Yes. Uh, on the the trend of using this podcast to uh, clean our backlog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I chose a show, a show that has been on my plan to watch list for a probably a decade. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine why. <laughs> Which is a Kacho Oji or Legend of the Black Heaven. So, prior to you picking the show, I have never heard of this prior. <laughs> Tori, are you in yeah, the same boat I, as me? I saw the cover art. It's really cool, both of them, the the English dub and the the Japanese one. Okay, but yeah, I've yeah. Cover art, cover art uh, has its it. charm. Sure, it's pretty cool. Uh, main character looks nothing like that, though. Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> Maybe in his youth, <laughs> when he was committing pizza crimes, as you would say. Pizza crimes. Yes, pizza the Italian, pizza the Italians crime. come to you. He, They'll beat the shit out of you if you do that. Some, some stuff of pizza. <laughs> so that was a conversation we were having before we hit record. Tori, what would you consider your greatest pizza crime, <laughs> apparently? Uh, my greatest pizza crime was when I decided that I should try, I should reevaluate and try pineapple on pizza again for like the seventh time, only to once again realize that pineapple on pizza is still trash. Mm. I should not go on pizza. Hmm. Yes, that's right. I've committed that crime seven times. Because for some reason, people keep telling me it's really good. And I'm like, maybe I'm too harsh on it. And Repeat I try it again. It's like, nope, still trash. Still <laughs> trash. Still garbage. I'm sorry I'm, you don't I've have taste buds that. that are like mine, where I massively enjoy fruit on pizza. Yeah, there's, a lot of, just, there's a lot of cursed pizza in my country, but pineapple like, on pizza cursed. is not something. Well, there is, we call hi, ha, Hawaiian pizza, yeah. which is the one with pineapples. Pineapples, ham. But I'm, I'm, some peppers, I'm, a, yeah. I'm allergic. I'm allergic to pineapples. So I uh, avoid eating. <laughs> you, you, you fucking, you dropped the ball. You should have said you're allergic to fucking trash pizza. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot be allergic to trash <laughs> pizza. Like, have you seen the fucking shit that comes from my country? There is pizza. Like you can buy close to my home a pizza plate, which is a full meal, but instead of being on a plate, it's on a pizza thing. That sounds so very American. Plate. <laughs> but it's Brazilian. Uh, I mean, th that's not even the most. Yeah, because it, it, but it has like rice. Thing. It has rice, beans, eggs, salad, and it's on a pizza. So you just eat the topping, and the, I guess you roll the the thing and eat the. Bread. <laughs> I'm like that is way too I, disgusting for me. I I can't, know, it I sound, cannot sounds do that. strangely like a Mexican uh, pizza type thing that I could get the in many places here in the United States. <laughs> The weirdest thing for me, though, was just when I saw that fucking, like, pizza play thing, and it's just like, I was like, what kind of fucked up thing can you get on it? I mean, you can get many things from a full course dinner, you can get full course desserts, like, you can get a mixture, but then the weirdest one was just a bunch of fucking alcohol, and I'm talking, like, beer cans, fucking wine balls, I'm just like, why would you yeah. even order a pizza with, what? What? Okay, that okay. Now we've gotten weird. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. That seems so pointless. There's no need to have the pizza. Yeah, it's really like we have we have internet internet. What is the name? International Pizza Summit. So like people just. <laughs> I'm not joking. That exists. It happens in one state of my country. It is a bunch of people from a bunch of countries showing different types of innovation in, in pizza technology and, and pizza flavors. <laughs> like, <laughs> is, is this something ongoing in your country right now? And that's how you got to your no, pizza I crime think... of pepper sauce on your pizza? No, that, that's, that's just because I wanted to drink beer and eat pizza. And I, I went to the supermarket. I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy some pepper sauce. I only have the, the homemade 
Brazilian style pepper sauce, which is the demon. And I don't want the demon in my body. That thing sucks. Uh, so are we talking like ghost pepper esque heat or what? I don't know how how many Scovilles have ghost peppers. I don't know the most. <laughs> I'm no, no it's like no, not even it's close. Like 100, it's a hundred k Scoville units. Okay, so it's far sauce. below. It's far below. Yeah, it's way below, but it's concentrated with use like vinegar and oil and you just symphons out the oil of the thing Ugh. and the peppers are not grinded or anything they're just there you just throw that inside and it can last a decade mm. and my father sometimes I'm takes off the the decade old whole peppers and throw into the food oh. and it sucks yeah. it sucks when you just think oh man <laughs> this is really nice it has a little bit of pepper and then you eat and you kind of chew one of those i i i don't want anyone to uh, like it, it's like getting flash flash banged it's that it's that bad so when you said pizza crime you kind of meant crime to yourself more than the pizza no there no there's a bunch of italians here they only accept you uh to eat pizza with olive oil um, and anything else is just a yeah anything what? else it's a pizza crime so this sounds like elitist like pizza attitude here. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I, that's just Italian culture, I guess. I don't know. I'm not Italian. You're Italian not Italian, Hickey? People. You're right. You're no, Mexican. No, I'm not. Gotta remember. Yeah, we're right. Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Nor have Italian... This, well, I, I think I have an Italian great-grandfather, but regardless... <laughs> I'm not Italian, only kind looking, of... <laughs> He's just looking from the half end and saying, look at this motherfucker. Disowned. <laughs> Going to hell, straight he, to hell. He rolled he over the pizza. You pour that pepper sauce on the pizza. He was like, what? I could feel Excuse just me? the hand, the hand <laughs> reaching for my neck. I was like, well, that was a little weird sensation. I've, I accepted, right there. I've accepted all this bullshit. I've accepted your anime watching. I've accepted the fucking need. I've accepted you as a lawyer. But this, this I cannot accept. Yes, I can. How, how well will I be able to face my <laughs> this once I die? <laughs> How will I be able to face my ancestors once I die? Like this. Hey, yo, guys, I brought the I brought the pepper sauce. Let's have uh, brother, pizza. it's a smoke. It's really good. <laughs> Although I, I I went to the cheap one. There was a there was an expensive one on a fucking glass bottle, and I was like, man, this is this sounds really good, but it's like a hundred times the price of that one, and the plastic bottle right there. <laughs> just just find the plastic bottle one. Man, you'd, you'd just hate how I, like, anytime I get a pizza from the store and I bring it home, I always try to figure out, like, ways to add things to it and get wacky and add sauces. So, like, pineapple isn't even the only fruit I've tried on pizza, but, uh... Jesus Christ. Did oh, you yeah. do oh, the, 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 the apple? The, the apple? Apple should be good if you like. Yeah, I've tried. I've tried. I've tried apple. apple right, exactly. You gotta soft. cook the apple. That's why it's soft. Kind of like, I, I had the same mentality as... Kind of if you cook a tomato and you get it really so uh, soft, and then you can just put the chunk on there without the skin and all that. Yeah, I've tried. I've tried that. Absolutely. Not, <sighs> JD, not bad. You, you gotta add a little different order. sauce to it though if you're adding uh, something like an apple. You strike mm -hmm. me as the sort of guy who would partake in curry pineapple pizza. Uh, sorry, cur curry banana pizza. And that, yeah, that, I would that's try. Just it. Not acceptable. I wouldn't be opposed. Jesus Christ! All right, maybe I'll okay, try it I'll tomorrow. To Sweden, then I plan on having a Sweden pizza tomorrow. Pizzas. <laughs> curry I mean, banana. If you banana get it pizza. where you are, then I would be surprised. <laughs> I've never heard of anybody capable of getting that, you know, unless they make it themselves outside of Sweden. So I, I, I can get curry and a banana separately and put it on a pizza. It's not no, that's a what I'm saying. You, know, you can make it yourself. That's not what I mean. Talk about fucking ordering one. Although. There was a place in Hamburg I remember going to where it was a pizza place that who knows if it's still there. This was like a decade ago at this point, but it was just only seafood esque pizzas. So it was different. It was different kinds of like sardine mixes, uh, uh, sea bass, all kinds of different things that they would. It, it, I mean, it's just a regular pizza with all this kind of seafood on it. It was crab pizza. It was good. 
It's a good place. That's that's so weird to me. And I live by the fucking ocean. Like you'd think that we would have a bunch of seafood pizza, but I mean, I'm sure yeah, I we do. We do get have it. a bunch of maybe, them. Maybe maybe Norway is just too far removed from Italy. <laughs> Um, I'm mostly talking about where I live in Norway. I literally live by the ocean. Like, <laughs> yeah, but what's I what's like what, I mean, so what's like, what's the demand of pizza in in your region of Norway? Very, very high. Oh, okay. so high as a matter of fact that literally anybody that opens a fast food restaurant makes sure that they serve fucking pizza, hamburgers, kebabs. Only thing you can get anywhere. Nothing else. Those things. See, kebab okay. kebabs. I believe. I, I believe because there's a large population of that that culture in the country and all over yeah. Europe to be honest at this point but <laughs> Norway specifically like there's a big Afghanistan mm-hmm. culture isn't there uh yeah afghani culture uh some turkish and whatnot but mm-hmm. yeah uh, there's a lot of but i mean i don't know, i don't mind fucking Oh, kebab kebab pizza I was great. It. I remember that the 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 fucking shaved meat just thrown all over the pizza from various. There in Dortmund, there was a Turkish place I loved going to, and I'd frequently get that pizza. It's like lamb on mm. top of the pizza. Then they yeah. put their um the tzatziki sauce over it. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah, the, the kebab sauce. I fucking ah. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. Shit. The kebab red sauce, a, a, absolutely yep. delicious. Love it. So, uh. The only thing I, I I won't have is the salty sardines on a pizza. That is uh, it's too salty. So I get, so if That's it's sardines, just... it has to be the non salty kind. Oh, the non salty kind. Just say if you put salty sardines on pizza, let me introduce you to another concept. It's called salt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I th- we might have we might have though. <laughs> you probably because have those because of the Portuguese. The Portuguese like sardines a lot. So so we do probably, we. We're not on pizza. We probably have we probably have them on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> never, never heard of it. Never saw it, but well, I understand that that shit exists. My country is way too big. <laughs> I remember there was a time where you could get like sardines on pizza. That was so common to get here, but I cannot remember the last time I've seen somebody that actually serves sardines on a pizza. And honestly, that's just a win in my book. <laughs> I might, I might uh, do some uh, do some sardine pizza this weekend. But you really got me wanting to try the yes. bana- the banana curry. The banana curry. We should order a hamburger. Today's hamburger day, I think. Who says it's, it's my country? Is. I think it's in the world. There's hamburger day all over the place. I think international yeah, hamburger a, day. Yeah, I'm getting on a discount hamburger later. Mm-hmm. Nice. I am not. I've already <laughs> ate. I don't I'm know why that phrase hamburger. makes me laugh. It's like I'm getting a discount hamburger later. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> it's fucking expensive, dude. The hamburgers are expensive. It's the the big kind for like three times less than money. Really good. Hamburgers really good are expensive. Like fucking, do you go out to like fucking the fanciest restaurants to get hamburgers? Like what the fuck? <laughs> there is around me only fancy. Uh, there's a little bit of a fancy hamburger culture in my city. So, and the city is around. They are not as expensive because there's competition, but it's still like high end hamburgers. What are we talking for price wise yeah. here? Because uh, when I think high end, I'm thinking anywhere between like twenty to fifty dollars. Like for my uh, price range of what I'm willing to spend on a fancy ha- hamburger, I would say it's the same. But in Brazilian realities, okay. I would say the it's like fifty. Okay, that would be that would be ten dollars. But there's different uh, differences in getting like wagyu beef on that sucker. <laughs> kind of people don't like wagyu beef, yeah, but like high end meat and. With procedence, which is the best part, you know where the meat came from. <laughs> uh, extremely nowhere. fresh, everything, uh, and of course the the cost to produce a hamburger here is way less than the cost in the U.S. But I would say like ten dollars. You can have like a, a cheap hamburger would be a dollar, yeah, and it would be still really good if it's not from McDonald's. Not McDonald's is just way too overpriced. Or fast food in general. That's why people start doing the doing the the fancy hamburgers, since it's the same price as the fucking chain fast food. Right. 
but but you know you you, you know what you eating <laughs> you know what you're eating was done in the day not an, any year ago i'll have so. you know wendy's is fr- is is fresh not frozen that's what they tell me when these nuts what <laughs> When these nuts are fresh, <laughs> not frozen. Well, I was not. A, I was not expecting a these nuts joke from Tori. <laughs> of course, you weren't. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to our uh, fast food podcast. Yeah, <laughs> where we review the greatest in fast food, and Hickey sometimes talks about high quality hamburgers. <laughs> Anime podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are we really still an anime podcast? I we... don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we are revi- like we are revising the uh, culinary anime from the nineties. With oh, the, like, of course, one million, one million folded croissant. Oh, killing me! I don't, I don't remember Japan. the name. Hmm? Yakitata, Yakitata Japan. Uh, yeah, I think that is the one. That is a cooking anime. So it is from. Yeah, Japan. yeah, yeah. Unless you're thinking of something completely different, and I think that is it. I, is is it not from the nineties? Is it two thousands? Yaki Tate, give me Yali Tate. What the fuck? I can't type. Uh, Yaki Tate. Okay, yeah, two thousands. Uh, two thousand four, actually. Ah, two thousand four. Yes, we're reviewing that anime. We are. No. Oh fuck. <laughs> no. Well, we were talking about pizzas and then hamburgers. I thought it was obvious. Yeah, but like. I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. Just <laughs> and you didn't remember the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. So I guess we're just gonna do a cartridge orgy since it, it's there. Right. It's a good subsidy. Sure, but you guys, you guys should remember the anime we are reviewing next time and and prepare for it. <laughs> you should remember the name. <laughs> I don't need to remember the name. I just need to show up. Oh, boy. <laughs> I participated. All right, I'm going to play a drop and we'll review this anime now. <laughs> Here we go. I know too much about you. Are you still going to kill me? Yeah. All right. 18 minutes into this podcast after the pizza talk and high-end hamburgers. Hickey, for the audience yet again, for those that pop in now, I guess. What is the anime yes. we are reviewing? And I guess the uh, synopsis of it. We are reviewing Kacho Oji. Hard Rock Saves the Space. Uh, or Legend of the Black Heaven. Or Legend of the Black Heaven. Let's see if there's any other... Hard Rock no. Save the Space. I didn't realize that was the the rest of the title. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so the synopsis and Hard Rock my Save the Space. The... No, it's not. It doesn't work too well. No. Nope. Nah. Okay. Hard Rock These Nuts works. <laughs> Hard Rock Save the Space <laughs> Between Your Face and These Nuts. Uh, <laughs> or... I love it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, can't I can't believe we're doing this. Yeah, this is what we've been reduced to. <laughs> yeah, it's look, a culinary. Look, high, yeah, we're, high we're, quality these culinary, nuts jokes. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we, we are a culinary podcast. We're talking about nuts. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, anyway, it's an obvious. OG Tanaka has a wife, a child, and a mundane job as a salaryman in Tokyo's modern society. But life wasn't due for him to be in with. Fifteen years ago, he was known as Gabriel, <laughs> leader of the short-lived half metal band <laughs> called Black Heaven. <laughs> oh, this uh, you can JD, you you die in the background. I drank my coffee. And uh, it did not go well. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I live. Uh, Keep going, Gabriel. Gabriel. <laughs> Oji's life gets a sudden change in direction when he's invited by a mysterious blonde woman named Lila, Leila, uh, to pick up his Gibson Flying V once again and once again display his legendary guitar skills. 
not knowing that his music generates spore for a massive weapon in an intergalactic war. I think that's, I that's good that enough. Happens. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Ah, okay. And they're shredding on your guitar, and before you know it, <laughs> an entire alien civilization has been destroyed. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, they probably they probably deserved it. They probably did, to be honest. But I mean, honestly, though, this explains why Although we didn't they, find any they never they never shot anyone, at, at least until the end. Which was kind of self defense to me. <laughs> like, it, it was, it was, it was. No, nah, but I mean, like, honestly, though, this just explains why we haven't been able to find any alien life. OG Tanaka destroyed it all. Oh my <laughs> god. <clears throat> all the alien life also happens to be human in exact yeah. form. Yeah. Uh, one, one of them. Well, <laughs> we don't know the other one. Like, I suppose. The, the bow, the bow aliens. Listen, JD, what else would they be? Fucking blue? Come on, huh? Well. Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't see why not. Although, I don't see why. Oh, would well. they? Okay. <clears throat> so this is uh, Midlife Crisis the anime, eh? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I don't, I don't I think we're the target audience for this. Me me medio me mediocre life crisis the anime. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like this very much. It was just uh, about this dude who's having a terrible, just average life. He's got his wife and daughter. They're chucking out all of his prized possessions like yesterday's garbage and really <laughs> adamant about that, too, is how it starts off. <laughs> he goes yeah, I really want to get rid of that Gibson flying V. Me and Hickey were talking about it before, and it's just like, you guys are like not doing too hot you know like you're not they're not dirt poor but not far from it they don't have a lot of money you know and fucking here we have a goddamn we have a goddamn gibson flying v guitar and rather than selling it you're just throwing it out in the fucking garbage as well as other guitars and shit like what the fuck sell that thing at least if you're gonna do anything well, she, she had no concept of like what his life was prior it's just like ah, we That's had a bunch the of the thing because like they show that she was a, a groupie. So like, yeah. of course she knows. Well, yeah, l later, should... later. But for all intents and purposes, throughout the show, I was under the impression that like he met her afterwards, and they just nah, had a life. Nah, they nah. they just started life, and she just had no clue that he was like in a band. Nah. She was just telling him to grow the fuck up. Like, <laughs> come on, dude, this isn't the fucking. You're not young anymore. Get a good life. Fucking do something in your job. Get a fucking promotion. Do fucking go anywhere. We have a kid now. This isn't fucking. This isn't the past. Move on. And he's no. just like, but I just want to shred on my guitar. Yeah. My man just want a hobby. <laughs> like, that's the I mean, whole thing. It's just a guy trying to grab his hobby back. Yeah, he's just trying to do yep. something. <laughs> like, anything. Just trying to. But then this is Japan in the night. It's just unacceptable. unacceptable. You think you can have a job and a life? Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did get a kick out of... Like, I was rooting against this wife because she, she was just... She had no interest at all. And there was the yeah. other, like, housewives that are just like, ah, tough in bed, eh? Yeah, d you know, it was a matter of time. You can't compete with that anyways, referencing the, the hot blonde alien chick that was... Getting him to play guitar again. And she's like, yeah. And then she's like, walking on the way home and she goes, yeah, you know, all I did was throw out all of his past possessions, you know, all the bass, all the guitars. I guess I threw out like the last one. But, you know, so what? Oh, and then, and then his son is taking his, his prized record away, and just chucking it out the window. I was like, man, this guy, it's just a matter of time before he's just pushed over the edge. And he just says, I'm out. <laughs> like, I was just waiting for Come it. Off. Yeah. I'm going to start another band. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, life, life's hard. And this guy, he just, again, just wants to rock out, you know, rock out with his cock out, well, his guitar out. It's just, <laughs> I love the fact that it's just like, I need you to play the guitar. And he's just, oh, shit. Oh, man, is this my shot? Here, take this. Chuck some 100 yen coin, because that's very important for how he creates a special sound. He doesn't play guitar with a pick. He plays with a 100 yen coin. 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, uh. yeah. There, I mean, it has its comedic moments. It's just uh, weird. Weird. It's cl- it's clearly <laughs> it's clearly aiming towards that particular age group where life's got you down, brother. Your wife won't have sex with you. All of your testosterone has just depleted from your body. What's left but your past hobby when you were in your 20s? Life was good. Go get your guitar. Go get the hot women again. But you won't have sex with them because cheating is bad. <laughs> They're very oh, adamant yeah, to put that put that out there with the oh, guy. Yes. They staple of Japanese society. Not cheating at all. <laughs> right. <Yep>. You... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, one of the worst things you could do as a as a Japanese man is to cheat on your wife. Yes. Ah, one hundred percent. Yeah, it was like so. Then as it was going, I was like, so when's yeah, the divorce going like, to come it's, in? It's like, oh, she's got him. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Just because he was neglecting like, his family look, even more, you so you don't understand. I'm trying to save the earth. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. But what about our son education? <laughs> what about our son's education? He's in grade school. Get out of here. They're looking for mobile. They're lo- looking for like condos or whatever. Whatever the fuck. And I was like, well, I can relate to that. I'm kind of doing that right now. And bowling's picking up. And yeah, okay. That's kind of what I did in my 20s. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a little bit hard to relate with main character. One, we're not old enough. Second, it's really easy for us oh, to there. maintain our <laughs> hobbies. Ah, oh, but you can like maintain your hobbies. Sure, it's not yeah, like I can. Yeah, came in is like, well, shit, life sucks now. I cannot bowl anymore. You're still a fucking goddamn semi-professional player. That's true. Like I still study a lot. I, I like I have time to to read and study because you know I'm I'm. I have a really shitty life, so studying is my hobby, but oh my God, let's not Iggy. talk about it. My life blows. Well, fucking sucks. At least uh, your well, life is great, JD. Dude. <laughs> JD, you went on bowling. I, I My hobby is studying. <laughs> <laughs> studying sucks. Study does suck. I graduated college. I'm done with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, I cannot. I'm going to finish my post-graduation. I need to study fucking French and look for a master degree. <laughs> but that's my hobby, so I don't mind. Mm. Yeah, my studying of French is a, is a is ways. I already got the little piece of paper that says I'm good enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to, like I don't maybe, need to explore past that. <laughs> like maybe like I have time to exercise myself as well. But this dude is like he works a shit ton. He goes out like six a.m. and go home at night. He gets home. He cannot do anything because, well, his wife threw all of the hobby things he needs away. His child doesn't really care about him. He's just glued to the TV, the television, so he doesn't know how to interact with his own child. Then he goes to bed and wake up. Like, dude doesn't have time. And whenever he, whatever time he had, is just gone because the doors are gone and everything else. So we cannot relate because. For us, it's really, really easy to maintain our hobbies right now. Mm. Hopefully, we don't marry anyone who just throw everything out. Yeah. I don't know. His I've son never, was I've integral never, into I've... him picking up that guitar again, despite... Mm-hmm. despite <laughs> you know, he's watching his Flying Five, and he wakes up in the middle of the night. I've only watched Flying Five three times today. I need that fourth time. Looks at his son, pass out. Watch it. He's like, you know what? Gen, you're right. <laughs> I will pick up my flying V one more time. Play it for the soul. It's like, oh boy, okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Rocking on. <laughs> Hard rock will save the space, yeah. <laughs> it sure did. Did they ever explain why these aliens need specifically music? To power their super weapon, or is that just kind of what they came up with? The the aliens don't know. <laughs> They're just like this. Yeah. It just somehow works yeah. and it makes this weapon. It's not even the yeah. music. It's for some reason the super weapon likes OG. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it kind of it wasn't because it was the uh, the attraction. There wasn't that because like they discovered his fucking record or some shit like that or like a recording of him playing i remember oh that's right yeah 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 and it's somehow like hold on it synthesizes with with the weapon yeah Yeah. 
Yeah, right. So it's just like, hold the fuck on. Are we going to have to fight this guy? Let's fight this dude who can clearly save everyone. And they show show up and find him, and it's just like, that's the guy? Yeah, this fucking guy? <laughs> shit, son. Shit, son. We're going to have to fucking get it back into it. <laughs> I did get we're a kick out of the trio. Again. Yeah, the trio of alien women that were trying to, like, learn American, like, American, learn Earth culture. <laughs> and they're just doing, <laughs> they, they just kind of, they almost get it, but not quite. So they're doing, like, cal- calisthenics on the roof. Everyone's looking at him. They're making OG and and Layla pass out through gas, and then dresses like dresses them up sexy and puts them in a love bed right in the middle with no <laughs> concept of if the wife comes home, what is she gonna think? They're just like, we just got to get his blood pumping. Come on, sex will do that. Hell yeah! To be fair, they weren't the only ones that thought of that. So did scientist chick, scientist alien chick. She tried to get mm. in his pants for the better, the betterment of the alien universe. Yep. Yeah. It's very important. Mm-hmm. Very important. And then Layla got jealous. Even though she's in a arranged relationship with the commander. Oh. Drama. Drama. Yeah, this show sucks. The commander. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It's all right. It's all right. Like, it's, I mean, it's, it's nothing fine. amazing. It's just dumb. But God damn it, it's funny. It's funny as shit. Yes, it's it's ha- it has its it moments. It's got, it's got some wacky ass moments. It's got some like real moments. We'll just sort of like that downplay, like the fucking sitting out. Even late has a moment where she's just out fucking drinking. They're just talking it out, stuff like that. It's got, it's got its moments. It's not yeah, complete yep. waste of time. And even like, oh my god, it's- like he goes back to his ho- his hobby, but now there's a bunch of expectations. It's not fun anymore. And then explain like we we were in a band, but we weren't really serious about being a band. Everyone just wanted to find a job and stop. So it was just for fun. And now it's not even that. It's the band is there. And like the the band comes back not for something fun. It's another job. So they kind of like he's he he cannot activate the the weapon anymore because he's just not having fun. Right? It's there's some interesting aspects to it. It's like. When does it stop being a hobby and just it's not fun anymore? Mm. But like, yeah, he he thinks it, it's what he wants to do, but now it's because it other people want him to do. It's not so much what he wants to do. Then he he mm. plays the new song, and everyone is like, "This song sucks ass. <laughs> Cannot activate our giant fucking weapon to go back to the to the one track we won." It's like ah, oh, I mean, they don't have the story of the the other. What was it? The the keyboard guy went to the U.S. Got fucking iced by a fan. Yeah. So there's yeah, there's there's, in, there's good moments, but yeah, a lot of well, I would say it's like, it's not, it is. It's not thirteen episodes worth of content. Like it probably like would have been better having it like I don't know six episodes maybe like a six episode OVA something like that could have worked maybe I don't know like I just. It, it isn't long, but it is kind of too long for what is there. Again, it's got some nice moments. It's got some decent stories to tell. But all in all, it's just kind of like kind of what you expect. Some silly fun, getting back into it, getting some hard rock, you know, getting blood pumping in your veins, especially after that opening kicks in. That's mm, good shit. And then, yes, um, the opening was very good. And Yeah. And then you just sort of like come to the realization eventually where it's just like the realization that OG has as well was like, He's an adult now. He's grown up. He has a life now. He has people that need him and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like he's not a teenager anymore who can just go out and do whatever he wants. You know, it's, that's fine. That's fine. Like, it's it's sort of time to move on as well, not just kind of get stuck on it. Yeah, that, that was a fun time, of course, but it's not just... <laughs> you can't keep living as if you were a teenager. <laughs> Tori, are you, are you suggesting that it was weird you for are OG. Old, yes. Excuse me. <laughs> right, what? No, right. nothing. You keep going. <laughs> that OG can't show up at work, change clothes in the bathroom stall into his tight leather bell bottoms, his short shirt with his gut sticking out, and a blonde wig. That's not. That's yeah. that. That's too much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Th- those are not the eighties anymore. 
Uh, <laughs> I was talking about job. how, like, <laughs> what were you saying, Tori, about not having a lot of content? Yeah, the the original, the adaptation of this is a manga with six chapters. Oh my yeah. god! Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Because yeah, yeah so, I agree, Tori. It, it yeah, was so it, it was a little long. bit stre- it's, it's stretched because yeah, it's a volume with six chapters. And nowadays, more than manga has ten chapters per volume. Right, mm. so it doesn't even qualify to a a tanko bone, which is oh, the uh, is this is the manga an adaptation of the anime? Good question. I don't know. I only saw the oh. the, the it issues no, I know. adaptation. I know, I know, I know. But, but it, it, like, uh, if you look it at it, from like, nineteen ninety nine to two thousand, yeah, yeah, and uh, the the series is from well nineteen ninety nine. July nineteen ninety nine to October nineteen ninety nine. So I don't maybe know. Maybe there were which one came. Maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's one of those where even if the manga, even if the manga is the adaptation of the the anime, it it, it only lasted six chapters. So yeah, yeah, because yeah. no, it, it is that it is that right. It's it's very simple, and there's nothing wrong with that. This and that's kind of where I come back to with God Georgie. It's not an amazing show. It's just dumb, but it's fun. <laughs> It's it's an enjoyable series. It's an enjoyable little thing to watch, and it's not something like it, it's nothing I will watch again. No, but like yeah, I watched it, and I, and I enjoyed myself. Yeah, it was on my list. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Op is amazing. Music it's, it's amazing. amazing. The the graphics are amazing. It's goddamn heavy metal MV. Goddamn graphics. What is this? A video game? <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh. <laughs> We're all in a video game, didn't you know? Well, most of that has, entire if, second if half of the show post, it has post processing. It's, it's graphics. Yeah. Most of the second uh, half of the show was about OG and the old band trying to get back together. But they're all old men <laughs> with wives and families. Yeah. yeah. Like, are, are you okay, dude? It's like, nah. My kind of my <laughs> my my beer belly kind of gets into the way of the, guitar. the drums. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, the yeah. <laughs> It's mm. like, man, that is such an old man problem. Shit, dude. <laughs> uh, the alien race like steals the corpse of one of the dudes. <laughs> and yeah. Turns him into like a four armed keyboard machine. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. <laughs> How will we compete uh, with that music? It cancels us out. Like, oh god. Uh. All right. I guess that's a short review, eh? I mean, yeah, it's like there isn't that much to talk about. Just like, just like there's not much content in this podcast, there is not much content in Kachuoji to talk about. It sort of, yeah, it lays the groundwork. It say, puts you down, you see what's happening, and then it's like, this is what used to happen. And it's like, okay, how do we get you back to do that thing that you used to enjoy? And then it's like, okay, let's try that. And then it's like, eventually we sort of just arrive at the conclusion that, you know, it was a good time. But times are changing, and I'm getting older. <laughs> yep. There's no memorable moments at all. There's no, not a lot of music in a music anime. There's like two tracks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, four, if you count the OP and AD. And out of the four tracks, the OP and TED are just the best ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, the story picks up a little bit on the second part of it with the, with the band. Yeah, and I kind guess. of a more a more public <laughs> display of the intergalactic fighting. But like there's it's impressive to have an anime with zero <laughs> memorable <laughs> moments, but hey, it, it happened on, on Kachu Oji, but it's still quite enjoyable. Uh one one watch kind of show mm. and move on. So what's your or score, like, Hickey? Rev- uh, I gave it a six. Okay. Once I get an, once I'm an old man, if I can get you being an old man, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just come back and watch this show. This was like, ah oh, man, I remember being like in my twenties and talking shit about this on the fucking fucking podcast. And man, now I'm fucking sixty and everything sucks <laughs> and I cannot play my guitar anymore because my woman threw it away. <laughs> It's like, man, what a loser that guy was. Looks over in the mirror, sees yourself as fucking most of your hair is now gone. It's like, damn. He's got his French book out, but he can't read it properly because his gut's too big. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Using uh, glasses, podcasts go on. No have time for hobbies. I need to keep looking for my health. So just don't fucking die. Or don't just <laughs> guess die. The hot alien chick outside is not paying attention to you, damn. No, she's going <laughs> to the guy who plays the fucking bass. <laughs> so the fucking bassist motherfucker who takes the chick. Uh, or in this case, I guess the, the keyboard dude. Funnily <laughs> enough. Dude. <laughs> well, we didn't no, mention we uh, who made this thing. It's AIC. So it's the Data Live guys again. Yeah. Uh, and then it's uh, directed by Yasuhito Kikuchi, whom did Golden Infinite Boy. Uh, he was the director, director. sensei. He was. Calm with Lucifer. Nice. Man, this guy has directed some absolute garbage. <laughs> yes. Key animation on uh, Otaku no Video. He's got a lot of key animation. El Hassar, the alternative world. Man. Is the rest is Sika. Huh. Anyways, I, I just gave it a four. It was very average, but then the no memorable moments and it's just just not a lot of like depth to anything at all. I maybe I'm a little harsher than you guys, but that's just how I felt about it. Definitely. No, it's uh, okay. Yeah. Hit a little bit too close to home. I see. I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, like stab, stab I that can dagger relate to this. <laughs> I'm in this and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm in this picture and I don't like it. This hits home uh, too hard. This not... isn't what I wanted to watch. <laughs> but, but no, there's, just not, the, there's nothing Jade like appealing to me guy. about a middle aged dude going through a crisis with his mundane life. I don't want to watch a show like that. I know, I know, dude. (laughs) God, (laughs) what shit, son? All right, no, but like, I mean, I I still enjoyed the show. I gave it a seven. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's it's decent, decently enough. Fun again. Opening is a banger. Just yeah, you know, I've it's just it's just a little bit outside of the anime. It's just it's just a little bit complicated when the the opening is the best part of the (laughs) the show. That yeah, I agree with, but it's also not uncom- It's also not uncommon, so you know. That is true. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's a it's a nice little thing. It's sort of you know, you want music anime, but that doesn't necessarily have so much to do with music. Can't you watch it? Yeah, and if you want a that like a heavy metal anime, just go watch Detroit Metal City. <laughs> uh. Well, okay. Our next episode is Tori's pick. What are we doing? Oh, shit. What are we doing? Bastard. Oh, yeah. Bastard. Who are you calling a bastard? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's because the remake's coming out, right? Yes. It should already be out, I think, right? I'm not sure. It should already come out. On Netflix? No, 30th of June. Never mind. 30th of June. It's just going to start coming out the first of the two parts, uh, two part O and A. That is bastard. So, you know, because we're we're obviously such a timely podcast, always up on the latest and greatest anime out there. Of course, we're watching the 1992 one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, see you next time. Peace. Goodbye.